My name is Antravian Carter. I go by Coach Trey, and I'm from Houston, Texas um, at the ACA Dance Center. Um, so a little bit about our studio. We started about two years ago, so really small, really um, brand new studio. And we started off, honestly, with just a dance team. Um, we just had one little uh, group of about seven girls and we started there and then it just kind of spiraled out of control after that. So we've been doing really, really great and we've been blessed to have that, that growth. But with more students, more staff, more everything, comes more communication, more time that we do not have um, owning a studio. Um, who in here is familiar with Beyonce? Um, so I always say, if Beyonce can do it, I can do it, okay? So, Band, honestly, has given me my Beyonce power. I'm just letting you know, okay? So with that, we started out using GroupMe, Remind, um, all those different things. We currently use Studio Director um, at our studio. Um, um, so I heard Jackrabbit, I used Jackrabbit before as well, before we switched to Studio Director. Um, but with GroupMe, honestly, um, what we found back when we first started is that it was, it was okay at first. But the thing was, was once you get into really deep conversations, you have to scroll back into all those old messages like, oh my God. And if you're sitting in your office or doing something and say you miss a whole conversation, you're trying to figure out what's going on, okay? Or for those parents that don't want the app on their phone, they just want to use the text messages, they never know what's going on. Jenny said this, Sydney said that, such and such liked this message. We all know how that goes with GroupMe. Uh, with Remind, it's really good for sending information out, but it's kind of clunky with um, getting information back from the parents. It gets really confusing and when you have so many people that you're dealing with, it gets too um, messy, I'll say that. Um, the one thing that we also tried to do was kind of like uh, using the um, studio director email system or going into using the text messages. But hey, we're small, we, we don't have a lot of money you know, to be doing a lot of stuff. I don't wanna pay for the text messaging feature on Studio Director for an extra $50 million a month. So some kind of way, searching for a, a different alternative and getting frustrated with that, I found the Band app. And with the Band app, the one thing that I loved about it is just how easy it was to use. Um, I literally have um, my oldest parent in the studio um, who's probably in her late 60s or so, um, her mother uses the Band app. <laughs> That's how easy Band app has been for all of our parents and things to use. The couple things that I enjoyed about the Band app that have um, really changed our studio is one, general updates. We have a Band app that is specific to the studio, just that. So we have the ACA Dance Center Studio app, which we have invited all of the parents, all of the students, and even people that are just interested in the studio to be a part of that app. For the studio is a closed band app, okay, or band group. Um, with that group, that means that you can search for it, you can see it, it pops up when you do a search, but I have to accept you into the group to see all the details and things like that. So that's what we offer to the entire studio. Team communication. We have a different band group for each one of our dance company um, teams. We have um, a hip hop majorette team and we have uh, one that's more classical jazz ballet um, dance company as well. And we have separate band apps for them. So that communication can be directed to them as opposed to giving all that information to the entire studio and blowing up people's notifications for information that they don't necessarily want or need. Okay. The other thing that is really important to us is it's safe for our kids. Okay. So we thought about doing the Facebook thing like, um, like she said, but the thing with Facebook is everybody has to have an account. I have parents that hate Facebook, hate social media, don't want to deal with it, okay? We have students that are too young to be on social media platforms like that. Um, like my youngest company member is seven. Um, so with that seven year old, I don't want her on Facebook. I don't want her seeing certain content and things on there. So Band allows me to control the content that she can see. Um, with Band, uh, we've also made it to where we require it for our dance company. That's where we started, because it was the buy-in with starting the band app. With transitioning in, into using the band app, it was the buy-in. It was trying to get the parents, the students, everybody, okay, this is where we started. Hey guys, we got a band app. We have this new thing that we want everybody to get started with. Well, what's the band app? Why well, do you want you to use GroupMe? Why well, want you, can't you just text us? Well, it's an app, you can download it, it's free. I gotta download it, really? Like I gotta put something else on my phone? I don't have any space on my phone. So we started with the kids. So anybody that knows Coach Trey, I am a do what I said, I said it and I meant it, 
mic drop type of person. So dance company, it was required. There was no questions asked. If you are a dance company member, a dancer, you are required to get your little cell phone and download the band app. If you don't have a cell phone, ask your mom to download it on her phone because you need to take responsibility of your dance career. You are a part of the team, not your mom. So you need to be on the band app. That's what we started, okay? So then what happened? They were required to be on the, on the band app. So what happened next is nosy mom is like, well, what are y'all talking about on there? What's going on on there? You're always talking about this band app. What's on the band app? So then what happened? Mom got the band app. <laughs> so then we started introducing it to the parents. Hey, make sure you're on the band app. And then it became a, just a general flat out requirement. If you are on the dance company, you have to have the band app. Parents, we will not send you an email. We will not send you a text message. We will not give you a piece of paper that says anything except through the band app. And that's where we got started with our transition. It was required. And we, it, and we had to basically no holes barred, do it flat out on the band app. And that's how we are right now. So even if the parents are not 100% on band app, they know that the kids will see something on band app and come directly to them. Or sometimes they don't have to check their band app because the kids are coming to tell them, hey mom, we gotta have this for, for tomorrow. We gotta be here for this before they can even check it. So the kids are taking responsibility before sometimes the parents are, but the parents can also go in and check it as well. Um, that turned into us actually creating the studio band after that. So once we had the dance company bought in, then we started the studio band app. And with that one, I was like, okay, well I can't really necessarily make it a requirement for people that, you know, just come in their recreational students, right? So with that, we made it exclusive. Our band app is our American Express card, okay? If you're on band, you get early registration discounts. If you're on band, you get maybe a free t-shirt or a water bottle or some, some kind of different promotion that we're offering at that time. We have different ways of promoting the band app. We'll send out an email here or there. We'll post a, a poster in the studio, but a lot of times it's that word of mouth and that parent buy-in that's getting everybody to sign up. So what does my band app look like? This is my personal, this is actually it right there on the screen, okay? So my band is set up, like I said, with the ACA Dance Center band, that's the general um, closed band that we have that anybody can search and anybody can join. We typically will send out, again, uh, there's different ways to invite people to join your band. One way is with a, um, the link, okay? That's probably the most popular way, with the link. So we'll send out an email blast at the beginning of the season, in the middle of the season. It's just like an auto, once you sign up, you get this in your email kind of deal. Uh, we'll send out an email out, hey, join our band, this is the link, boom. Also, with the poster, it has a QR code on it in the studio. Boom, you can do it yourself when you're in the studio if you see it, okay? Also, if they come up to the front desk, hey, I keep hearing about this band thing, what's that? I don't know how to use the QR code thing. Oh, okay, you're standing right next to me, I can give you a code right now where you can put in your phone right now and join the band app, easy. We also have our team um, bands. So the ACA, DC, Blue Flames, that's our hip hop uh, girls and major eight girls, um, and then the elite girls. So those are the bands that we talk about strictly dance company things. Only people are in those are the dance company girls and the dance company parents. Those are secret apps. What's a secret app? A secret, um, or se a secret band. A secret band is basically you can't search it, you can't find it, you have to be invited by me personally. Or even in the dance company um, uh, bands, sometimes parents will add like grandma or add like an uncle or something like that, which we love that because that allows them to come in and see what's going on without having to check in all the time or have to be at the studio. You have grandma all the way in New York and we're all the way in Houston, but she can see what little one's doing at the studio, right? But if I don't recognize grandma's name, Coach Trey is like, oh, you're gonna get kicked out, lady. So I go to the parents and I'm like, hey, do you know who Cindy is? And if nobody knows who Cindy is, five o'clock that day, Cindy is booted up out that group until Cindy can contact me and let me know who she is, okay? So I love that about band. It's great because it allows the parents and the students both to have that connectivity with the um, studio staff and teachers because you can send them direct chat messages. So for me, I'm okay with people having my cell phone number, but I hate when people have my cell phone number because I tend to not answer it if their phone number is not saved in my phone. Sorry, it's just me. So if I get a band message from Victoria, who's at my studio, I know this may be important. She's not messaging me for, for nothing or whatever. So I can message her right back, it's instant. We've even had events where people have gotten lost trying to get to our studio and they've been in the app and all they have to do is send me a quick message or send a message to someone in, in, the, um, in the band and say, hey, we're lost. Um, how do you get to this, to this part of the event? Right there, it's instant. Or you can instantly take a picture, hey, look for this sign, boom, there, the, there you go. 
and I didn't have to give them my cell phone number, I didn't have to be on the phone with them, I can continue doing what I was doing, my phone's blowing up right now with Band app, I'm sure, right now, literally where I'm doing this, okay? So it's very, very easy to use. So, a couple things that we use and that we do is we use it for announcements and updates. So we just had competition, uh, we were in Orlando for nationals um, uh, this past week. Um, and we were scheduled to go on at 8.45 in the evening for one of our performances. Well, that quickly changed. We ended up having to go on at 5. So the schedule got real messed up. A big studio pulled out and the schedule got all messed up. So we had already sent out announcements to through band. Hey guys, check us out live, watch the performance. Well, when we found that out, we were like, oh crap, I'm not going to sit here and send out a thousand emails and try to update all these people. So all we did was send it on band. Hey guys, we have about two or three more performances and we're actually finna to go on, so don't miss us. So it's really quick and easy, like just like that. It's just like sending a text message. Also, we love the file sharing. So around um, uh, the beginning of the season, we can upload our handbooks, we can upload the dress code, um, all those questions that you get, well, what are she supposed to wear to class? Or what are you supposed to do for this? Or um, what, did I actually sign for auto pay? Yeah, you did, here it is right here, okay? <laughs> All of that's right there, and then you can pin it at the top. So if it's around um, open house time frame, pin it at the top. So that way it's easily accessible and they can see it right there. Um, or you can take that pin off so it'll filter back into the rest of the messages and everything because you can always go back into the back end and um, open up your uh, files, any files that you've uploaded and they can see any files. Also, it's great for our teachers. The um, parents love the fact that they have this access to the teachers where the teachers can go in, they can upload homework, skill progression, different things like that, and do it. That's actually one of my teachers right there. Um, she, we were getting ready for a showcase or something, and she was posting a video of her actually doing the routine, because parents were like, well, what does the routine look like? Well, I'm gonna do it for you, here you go, okay? So it's very easy and accessible. Decision making, okay. I don't like sitting up and arguing with parents about silly things, like what color a t-shirt is, what color writing we're gonna have for national shirts, you know, those conversations where everybody wants to be the boss, that's gonna eliminate that, okay? This is literally us having an argument <laughs> on band about what color our national shirts were gonna be. I didn't have to talk to one parent except for replying to a message. Hey, I don't like that color. These are your color options right here. Please vote, period. <laughs> I can see who voted for what, and if whatever grievance you have, you can put it in the comments. Does it make sense? Very easy, very simple. Some, uh, the one thing that I love with the, um, with the band app also is that you can close the poll. So those lazy people that don't want to go on there and do what you ask them to do when you ask them to do it, hey, this is closing at 5 p.m. today or 5 p.m. tomorrow. And when this band closes, it's closed. You can also set it up to where it's secret. You know, if, if you want to vote on something, you know, private, maybe awards or something like that with your, with your staff, whatever, you want it to be anonymous, you can do stuff like that as well with the, um, the poll feature. Shared group calendar. So with our studio on our website, like I heard someone say, well, nobody ever goes to the website. We have, um, we use Google. We use Google Calendar for our master calendar. We literally use, um, put everything in there. I mean, for the registration, um, we put all of our classes in there. One thing I love about um, the, the Google Calendar is I can actually put in the description of the class and put like a registration button in the calendar. So if you go to our website, you can actually go um, to that calendar and pull it up. Well, I can also sync that with my band literally the entire calendar. It's a little code that you put in, it's very simple. It takes like maybe 15 minutes or so for the entire calendar, if it's large, to sync, and literally every single parent has it on their phone. So you eliminate that. What time are we supposed to be here? What day is this event? What time is this? And I, even though we have like maybe five to seven bands that go on at one time, I sync every last one of them with the entire calendar. So that way, no matter what band you're in, you can see the exact same calendar, okay? We also can share videos and photos. This is one of my favorites. And as y'all can see, my babies are up there asleep in that top, <laughs> that top picture. So um, this is another way that we rally around each other. Okay, so the, um, the girls wanted a, a silly photo album, so we have a got them photo album where they've been taking pictures of each other's sleep and doing crazy things while we're on trips and things like that. Um, so it's really a great way for us to show what's going on at the studio and show what's going on with the dance company. We just keep uploading photos and videos and different things like that um, when we're at different um, events like our hip-hop workshop uh, where I can't personally stand there and take pictures and things but I need like I don't have a team to videotape me so the parents will videotape and take pictures and things like that and they will post them in the band app and as you can see one of the, the probably that nationals thing is probably like 500 strong on pictures so it's like I love that there's no cap like I don't have to worry about 10 photos being in an album 
and it builds team spirit. You know, uh, with us placing at nationals in, in different um, areas, we were able to upload that and let the parents know and as it was actually happening. If they missed the awards and things like that, um, it, it just really helps the entire studio to embrace each other and just rally around each other. So our changes after ban. It causes us to have less emails and less text messages. I don't have to individually contact parents anymore. Okay? If there is something specific for a parent, I can literally message them directly on the band app while I'm in my car. I don't have to go to my studio director and find their name and send their, send their information out to them. Okay? I could literally, if I wanted to go to my studio, probably the only reason why I would need to go to my studio director and send out anything is if it's something like their personal class schedule or something. You know? And even with that, I could literally save all of them at the beginning of the season. I could send all of them through band and call it a day or upload them under a file that says, everybody's personal schedule, here you go. Um, it's just that easy. Um, accountability. I love the fact that I can see when people read stuff. Because we literally, at Nationals, had an argument where someone, we were supposed to be somewhere at a certain time and they were like, oh, well, I didn't know that, I didn't see that. Flip, 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 circled it in a red screenshot. Yeah, you did. <laughs> If you didn't read it, someone in your crew read it. You read it. Let's try it again. Oh, well, no. Yeah, because you didn't know I could see you read it. <laughs> so it puts that accountability there where you can't avoid, you know, it, it, there's no excuse at that point. Videos and photos for all the family. Like I said, we have grandmas, aunts, uncles, cousins, uh, little Pookie and Nunu and, and all those people that are in our, um, in our bands of the studio that know, hey, I can go on here and I can keep up with my child or keep up with my people um, and I don't have to be on Facebook or I don't have to you know, see it on, on somewhere else. And it's stuff that the studio is uploading that I don't have to be friends with everybody on Facebook for them to see what's going on. I don't have to, you know, even though we do have a Facebook page and an Instagram and a Yelp and all that good stuff, but it's still exclusive content because I don't post all of that stuff. Because, you know, you want it to look a certain way on Instagram. You want it to look a certain way on Facebook. This is just real at home stuff, you know? Um, also, it keeps the nosy parents out, <laughs> period. They, they ask, honestly, they ask way less questions. They want to stop the teachers way less because I hate that. You know, after class, oh, well, how's my baby doing? Or how you can literally send them a chat message and ask them how your baby's doing. They will contact you when they when they're done teaching. Okay, or wait for the teacher to upload you know their skill uh, their skills charts and things like that on the band app, um, and then you can see it that way. So it eliminates all that good stuff. Um, why would I recommend Band to Studios? I mean, everything that I just said. I, we love Band app at our studio. It is literally our own personal social media app. Promise you. It saves so much time with communicating. So much. Um, it's one app that has everything pretty much in it. Okay, and that's one thing that I love about it is that I don't have to jump from here to there to there to there to there. And again, with that, to, to have that type of one app, one place kind of situation is you have to, the studio director has to be all in and you just have to jump off that cliff and say, hey, this is the only thing I'm doing, okay? Um, it's organized, but it's fun. Again, everybody loves having the band app. I've literally had parents to say to me, I was not gonna buy her a cell phone, but because she don't wanna be left out on the band app, I bought her a cell phone for her birthday. <laughs> I get tired of hearing about this band app, I'm gonna let her be on the band app, okay? Um, and it's free, can't be free. Okay, we don't have to pay for it. We all know the struggle of having a studio and having to pay for this and pay for that and pay for this. You know, you're paying for so much stuff, you can't pay yourself. So band app is not one of those things. It's really, really great in that aspect. Um, we also have band for our staff members. This eliminates all of them having my cell phone number and blowing me up in the middle of the night. Okay, I can just send them a message on band. Hey, here's the new dress code. Hey, here's uh, the new schedule for the upcoming season. Can you, work this? can you work these shifts? If you can't, let me know in the band. Okay? It's very easy, very quick. If they're not in band, they're gonna make, I'm going to make them get in band. When you are signed on as an employee, you are going to get the band app, period. <laughs> you do not want to get the band app. You do not want to work at this studio. So that's my entire presentation. So I want to thank you. Again, we are going to have a QA. and a Hopefully I answered some of your questions, and we're going to try band together. Are we not? Yeah, we're going to try band together? Did y'all enjoy it? Yes. Okay.